Well, I've seen about that. We've been in this same damn clothing store for over an hour, and it has not been fun. She's looked at nearly every piece of clothing in the store in her size, tried on a dozen things, and asked for my thoughts on about half of them. She was also quite unamused by my answer every time. Looks fine, I guess. Truth be told, most of what she's picked out has looked really good on her, but I don't want to give her the thought that I may actually be enjoying this. Because I'm not. I'm so bored, I've begun to narrate to myself for attempted entertainment. Or maybe I'm just going insane. What about this purple sweater? Good for me, or good color for me, or not? It seems more like a Yuri color. Just because she has purple hair doesn't mean she wears purple things. No, but she could. Yeah, well, I'm not asking whether or not this would look good on Yuri. I'm asking whether it's a good color for me. For you? Looks fine, I guess. You send that every time. Every, every time would be two words. God, it's like talking to a brick wall. You're the one that keeps asking. Yeah, because I want to know what you think. Well, I think it looks fine. It wouldn't, or it wouldn't look bad on you if that helps any further. Barely. Okay, how about this then? You know, that sweater wouldn't complete you. You'd complete that sweater, because without your beauty, it's just a piece of ugly cloth. Better? How much? See, I need you to say more things like that. It'll make my decisions easier. Oh my god. You know what? I think I'll get this one. It's not a bad price. Great, can we go now? If I go, you mean to the next store, then of course. My head hurts. This girl has some sick sense of humor, driving me insane like this. I'm gonna get her back for this. Question is, how? Hmm. There may be one thing. I remember as a kid, I used to get her with it every time. Not if I'm, you can split up every time. I wonder if she's still... Hello? Snap out of it. Hmm? I was asking if we should go to lunch first. Meanwhile, here you are, staring off into space, completely ignoring me. Sorry, I was just lost in thought. Unlikely story. You knew where you were looking. Where was I looking? What? Oh. Oh, the lingerie section. Yikes. That is 100% not what it looks like. Did you really grow up to be that much of a pervert? Did you really not hear what I just said, Stephen, on a question? Excuses, excuses. What would the manager think if they saw you right now? What would the other customers think? What would your parents think? Are you kidding me right now? Stephen, on a question. <laughs> of course I'm kidding you. Quite the comedian you are, huh? Oh, please, this is coming from a guy whose sarcasm is basically his personality. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Uh, this would be a, a W-H-O-S-E uh, for possessive. You know, because that, that would be who is sarcasm. That, that's not how that goes, no. It was funny and you know it. You're so lucky no one was around to hear you. I'd say it was you that was the lucky one there. So, lunch now? This girl, man, I swear to God. Damn, I just realized that now I know what it feels like. Better swing the momentum back my way. Hmm. Sounds fine, I guess. Oh, don't even start. Aw, come on, that was funny, and you know it. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> come on now, fair is fair. But yes, let's go to lunch, and just for being such a good sport, you can pick where we eat. Mm-hmm. Damn right I will, smartass. Lead the way. So where are we eating? Hmm, good question. That's why I asked it. Do you, have, uh, do you have to answer everything with a retort statement or question? Keeps me entertained in life, so yes. Uh, I don't remember you being like this growing up. Life hadn't beaten me down yet. Now I turn to humor as a coping mechanism. You want to tell me about it now? Nope. So where are we eating? I don't know, I haven't thought about it yet. I'm not even feeling hungry anymore. Does my past bother you that much? No, you're keeping it a secret, does. Damn it. It's not like I don't feel bad about not telling her. I just hate talking about it. I'm not gonna tell her everything at the mall. What do I do? What do I do? I guess I... I don't even know. Holly. Hmm? Oh, you spaced out again. Sorry about that. Don't know why it keeps happening. No, no, it's okay. Look, if you don't want to tell me, I get it. We haven't seen each other in so long. It's probably hard to trust me, and I get that. What? No, no, no. It's not that, honestly. I just hate talking about it, that's all. 
Are you sure? I mean, I don't understand if it's a trust thing. Believe me, it's not a trust thing. Of course I trust you. Don't even think I- or, or don't ever think I don't. Okay, I just... I'm sorry, I couldn't help but think that's what it might be. Guess I was just overreacting. Don't be sorry. If anything, I should be. I should just stop being a baby and tell you. It's not like it's anything overly dark, either. It's just stuff that pisses me off. I don't like bringing it up because it brings my mood down. I can just stop bringing it up, then. It's okay, really. It's not okay. I want to tell you. But not here. I'm always not the place to complain about my life. How about, after we're done here, we can go back to my place and I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Sure, but only if you're really okay with it. I am. Who knows, it might be good for me to talk about. Not like I've done that many times. Okay, then. Good. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'm rather hungry, so let's go eat. I'm feeling a bit better, so I'll eat too. I don't really care where we eat, either. We can just pick a place. That burger place over there. Wow, you decided that super fast. Yeah, well, I was kind of hoping that was the place you were going to end up picking. I like their burgers, and I don't come here often. Huh. Well then, shall we? After you. We've been sitting here quietly for a while now, eating our lunches. It seems as though all this is fine, or all is fine, but I can tell it's still bugging her. I have an idea, though. Hey, Seo, what you up to? Painting! I didn't know you liked painting. That's because you are never around when I'm doing it! Yeah, but you never mention it, either. You never ask! Terrible logic. But anyways, back on topic. Er, no, that's me. <laughs> but anyways, back on topic. What topic? The topic of you coming to the mall to cheer Koto up. Why is she sad? Because she's concerned about my past. Oh, well, that makes sense. You should just tell her. Why me? Why? You should just tell her. When the time is right. <laughs> so you coming or not? Well, I just need to finish up what I'm, or, I'm doing, then I can head there. Sounds good. We're eating lunch anyways. Still, so no rush. Okay, see you soon. Sure thing. Just text me when you get here. I will. There, that takes care of that. Siori should definitely be able to cheer her up. In the meantime, I need to snap her back to reality because she's been spaced out for a while now. Did you know Sayori paints? Mm hmm. Welcome back to reality. Sorry. I said, did you know Sayori paints? No, I didn't. That's neat, though. Yeah, I never knew that about her either until a few minutes ago. Well, she painted your hand, bro. Huh. Oh, I was just texting her. I asked her what she was up to, and she said painting. Oh. Well, she does seem like the autistic type. Yeah, I realized that the other day when my hand was her canvas. <laughs> that was on you for falling asleep. See, the thing is, I didn't fall asleep with her there. She must have come across me, or came across me, while I was sleeping. I guess it would be come across you. And for some reason, decided my hand would make a good art project. Don't need this gone. It did, though. It was very well done. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Are you a big art person? <laughs> Obviously, I play the flute after all. I didn't know that. I did mention I was in music class with Monica. Yeah, but I just assumed you played the tuba. Give me one reason why I shouldn't toss my drink at you for even suggesting that. Easy. We'll get kicked out. It might be worth it. Well, it's your call. <laughs> you were lucky the food here is really good, otherwise I'd do it. I'll count my blessings then. Playing the flute is pretty neat though, I'll give you that. Of course it is, I'm really good at it too. I'll have to hear you play sometime. Yeah, you can come over to my house sometime and I'll play you something. Sure, I'd be down for that. Maybe I can introduce you to the thing people call culture. Are you saying I'm not cultured? Absolutely. I'd say my feelings are hurt, but I've never really cared about impressing people. Well, you should care about impressing me. As one of your closest friends, I have expectations. I'm fairly sure yesterday I said I'm not good at meeting those. Yeah, well, we'll get you there. Anyways, ready to get back to shopping? No. Wonderful, let's go. Actually, wait. I need you to do something for me first. And what would that be? Statement I question. I need you to take a picture of me. And you can't do that yourself because... 
<laughs> because if you take it, it'll look less like a selfie and more like a professional photo. I can assure you any picture I take will not look professional. It'll still be hands-free for me, and I even have the perfect filter sewn here. Alright, well here goes nothing. I don't think I've ever taken a picture of somebody else. <laughs> Good god, dude, for real? Her fault if this looks bad. What the? Hey, look at that. She got larger. <laughs> Something wrong? What the hell kind of filter is this? A very flattering one, thank you very much. Flattering? You look like a cartoon character. Oh, okay, it's the filter. Shut up. I do not. You really, really do. I just think someone has poor taste. Yes, and her name is Kotonoha. My taste is exquisite, actually. Meanwhile, your taste is clearly from the discount section of a cheap website. And yet, here you are associating yourself with me. What does that say? It says you're my work in progress. Oh, boy. Now, could you just take the picture? I only asked for that, not a debate about style. Only asked for that, comma, not a debate about style. Taste. Whatever, just take it. Fine. Smile or whatever you do for photos. Got it. Here, please don't ask me to do that again. You're such a man, baby. Wah. Roll your eyes at me, see if I care. She can say what she wants, but I'm committed to the bit. Committed. Need a second tea. At least I'm pretty sure you do. Well, let's resume our tour of hell, I guess. Hell for you, heaven for me. I never realized heaven costs money. Another few hours have gone by. Four days. Hard to tell at this point. I was really hoping Siori showing up would be a game changer, but I was very wrong. Now it's two girls shopping for clothes. And one very unhappy guy. An unhappy guy who's an idiot for asking another girl to come hang out at the mall. Hang space out. He should feel ashamed of himself. Oh, did you want to check out any stores while we're here, Howie? No, I'm good. Are you sure? 100% sure. Well, that's extra sure. He's just being a baby. Why? Because apparently the mall isn't something he enjoys. Oh, well, I knew that. Did you, though? Obviously. Yet here you are dragging me along on this mindless indulgence when I meant for you to come and save me. You're with two friends at a mall, not hanging off of a building you don't need saving. If I was hanging off of a building, I doubt you would save me. I would try, but you're heavier than me. No hanging out on tall buildings with you, then. Probably a good idea. Why would you put yourself in a position to be hanging around anyway? Because with Sayori, anything can happen. You know it! Lots of unexpected adventures! With only a slight possibility of maiming or death. The risks are worth it for my hangouts! Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> I'll have to see one of these adventures saw myself sometime. Yes, you do! They're really fun, I promise! Don't worry, I believe that. I hate to cut this fun conversation short, but I'm really not a fan of just standing out in the mall hallway chatting. Do either of you have any other place to go, or can we leave soon? I don't think I do. Well, there was one place that they wanted to check out, but we don't have to. No, no, it's probably best we go now, then. I don't want any excuse to be dragged back here anytime soon. I could just go by myself another time, you know. But will you? No, I'd probably ask you to go. Exactly, so let's go now, then. Okay. He knows you well, Sayo. Like the back of my hand. Another clothing store? Seriously? Why, Sayori? I don't think I've done anything recently to deserve this! Or is this just karma catching up to me? No, it can't be that. Oi! Got smanked. That's ridiculous! Ow! There are less painful ways to get someone's attention, Sayori. Now my ribs are sore. What was that for? You weren't answering me! You really spaced out hard, huh? Apparently. What were you even thinking about? Oh, nothing much. Just thinking about how my life ended up where it did. What's me and Koda with the mall? What's wrong with that? The mall part. But anyways, what were you asking me? Oh, I was asking if this dress would look good on me! 
A blue dress with some kind of lace finish? Yeah, that'd look alright. The bright color suits you. Plus, it'd be perfect for summer weather. Awesome! What? Why does she get a whole critique and I just got looks fine to me? Because she didn't wake me up at 8 in the morning. You ass. Don't swear! He deserves it. I probably do deserve it, Sayo. Better let her off the hook this time. Stay out of this. But I'm agreeing with you. I don't care, mister. You guys, stop yelling! They're gonna kick us out! Yeah, you're right, Sayo. Sorry. But he is being an ass. Guilty as charged. Also, I'm sorry too, Sayori. Getting back on topic, you gonna get the dress? Hmm, I may come back for it. I didn't bring enough money for this time. Well, I'm sure it'll still be here when you come back next time. Not going to be a gentleman and offer to buy it for her. Uh, no. Also, yeah. oh, no, there was a question mark there. I am losing my mind. I bought her a large amount of candy this week and a football she's never going to use, so Sayori's account with me is all tapped out for now. You buy her all this stuff? What are you buying me? A book on proper hangout etiquette. Is any of this teasing deterring you from being or bringing me back here by chance? Absolutely not. If anything, I'm bringing you here more often as punishment. Ah, it's backfiring. I was afraid of that. Anyways, if you're done browsing Sayori, I'd be more than happy to leave this place. Yeah, we can go now. Great. What if I'm not done? Then have fun. Mm hmm. Let's go then. Awesome. <laughs> they got out of there fast. Okay, things have been a bit tense. Koto has been kind of staring off into nothing, likely imagining the worst scenarios for my backstory possible. I have been figuring out what to say and how to say it. And Seyo is blissfully unaware. Don't need this comma. Oh, to be in her frame of mind right now. To be honest, Kota will probably calm down once she realizes it's nothing more than me being unpopular. Well, that may be a bit of an understatement, but still. Only reason I'm thinking ahead of time is I know I can get pretty pissed off talking about it. I don't want to take my anger out on her. She doesn't deserve it, but assholes at my old school do. I need to be able to walk away if I'm getting or toe upset. But how will she take that? Yeah, you need another O for that to be too. I couldn't even walk away at the mall, let alone from a serious conversation. And yet if I don't, things will get out of hand. Am I missing something? Hmm? The both of you seem down. What's going on? Damn, guess she wasn't as unaware as I thought. And nothing's going on, Sayo. Yeah, I'm just preparing to be interrogated. What? Did you break the law or something? Not recently, no. I meant by Koto. Why? It's not an interrogation. I just want to know what's made him so miserable over the past few years. Oh, that! Yeah, that. Honestly, it's not a big deal. Well, not anymore, but it was. You just tend to downplay things a lot. Me having a less than stellar high school life is nothing serious. Besides, I'm a much better one now, with you guys. What more could a guy like me ask for? Aww. I still want to know, though. Well, once we get back to my house, I'll certainly do my best to tell you. I'll come too! You don't have to, it's just a boring recap of my life. I know I don't have to, but I want to! Well, I won't stop you. Tag along if you must. Of course I'm going to! Fair enough. <laughs>